Hey everyone, this is Nikki with ChristianMommyBlogger.com and I am here today to teach you a little bit about using someone else's photos in your post. Uh, one of the best ways, we're going to focus today on Flickr Creative Commons, one of the best ways to do this is uh, to put your picture, find your picture, put it in your post, and then source that picture so when people go to it they know that it's not yours and you're not trying to say that it is. So what we're going to do, let's assume that you already have a post written about pretty butterflies. Now you want to go find a picture because you don't have any handy. So open a new window, go to flickr.com. Now I will tell you that if you Google Flickr will usually come up Creative Commons as a selection. That's an easy way to find it. But say you just go to Flickr's homepage and you, this is where a lot of people get hung up because it doesn't say Creative Commons in big, in big writing here. So what you need to do is go to Explore and then click on this little arrow, Creative Commons. Now, open up your ears listen very closely this is a big deal and as a as a person that runs a contributor site um, I have to really trust that people follow through with this because it can be really hard as the editor to make sure that everything has the correct attribution but this means that it's it has a description right here you let others copy distribute display perform your copyrighted work and any work but only if you give credit. Now, this part here, non-commercial, you might think, well, I'm not making any money on my post, but if the person you're writing their blog post for has affiliate sales on their site or anything like that, and people come to your that site because of your post, and then they end up purchasing something, in a, in a roundabout way, you're photo that was non-commercial has become commercial because that site does make money. The site that hosts that is holding that photo makes money. So for the sake of being taught by ChristianMommyBlogger.com only select here. There's a lot of stuff to to pick from. Okay so go here to see more. I mean there's 34 and a half million photos. I'm sure you can find something that has like no problems with, with uh, copyright. See more, type in your what you're looking for or you can like it says here browse popular tags but I want to look for butterflies. I've done that search before and let's find a pretty picture. Okay we'll do this one. Alright now there's more than one way to do most everything. I'm going to show you the way that I personally like it. Right here is your picture. Um, you can go to share. Grab now this it automatically assumes you want to share the link. I want to grab the HTML and I want to because then it's not the photo is not uploaded on my site and it's not taking up server space. So keep this window open. I've highlighted this and I'm going over to my post that I was writing. I'm going to switch over here in my WordPress to my HTML and I'm going to insert it. Look at there. Guess what? I can still go in and center it and adjust the size as I want. <sighs> I, it's a draft, so that's why it went back to this. Okay, anyway, so now it's centered. Okay, now when I preview the post, let's save draft. When I preview the post, it'll take me to Flickr because we've embedded the HTML, and that makes it clear that this picture came from somewhere else. But you might have an issue where somebody says, like somebody doesn't click on the picture and they're curious and they just assume, oh, Nikki must have taken that picture because it's on her site and it says it's written by her. So this is where we go back to Flickr. We already have the HTML. Now let's go to grab the link. This is just an extra step 
you you really want to be as as forthcoming with information as you can because not everyone takes the time to look in detail. This is up to the person you're writing for or your site where you like this. I personally like it to just say source and I put it at the bottom of the site, at bottom of the post. So highlight source, tap your link, paste, click open, link in new window. Side note guys, do this because if you don't, when they click on it, it will take the current screen that they're looking at and put them on Flickr. And if they get on some photo trail on Flickr, they might forget about your site and never come back. However, if you say open link in a new window, it will open a second window, which is like how these are multiple windows up here. And then if they get on a photo trail on Flickr and then they close out of the screen, they now have another window open that was your website, so they'll go back to that. So that's something I always do on every link, even internal links, because I don't want people to get confused and lost. You always want them to be able to come back to where they were originally starting. So this is source. Now, if this was my post, I would have kept writing about pretty butterflies. And then let's save our draft. Let's preview. So now I have a post about pretty butterflies. There's the picture of my pretty butterflies. And there's my context. And then there's my source. Now, the other way, if that might have already solved your Flickr photo common problems, but the other way you can do it is um, so let's do 500. Um, download this size and there it is it's downloaded and now you save it to your site I'm sorry you save it to your I personally would just save this to my desktop because I'm not going to keep it on my computer and then go where you already had the butterfly let's delete that HTML and let's insert a picture. There you go. So there it is and I, I was able to change the size. Um, and the reason I slowed down for a second um, is some rights reserved. You can verify here that by clicking on that, that you are free to share, to copy, distribute, and transmit, and to remix and adapt under the following conditions that you attribute the work in the manner specified by the author. So it doesn't hurt when you go to download a picture that you, um, you can even see that over here license some rights reserved anytime you're looking at a picture on Flickr look down see where it says license and just confirm that 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 in fact you are free and the only condition is attribution so that's it you now have Flickr Creative Commons under your belt and know how to insert and credit in a post enjoy and happy writing thanks again this was Nikki with Christian Mommy Blogger